ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار we has come in the report when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was about to send muad ibn jabr radiyallahu an to yemen to call the people to al islam and he gave instructions to muad radiyallahu an as it relates to the mannerisms of how to give da'wah but he also gave him a piece of advice or he gave him some matters that he is to adhere to he said to him ya muaz ittaqi la haythu ma kunt wa atbi' as-sayi'at al-hasanah tamhuha wa khaliq an-nas bi khuluq hasan he said muaz fear allah wherever you may be and follow up the bad deed by doing a good one so they will wipe it out and behave with the people with good behavior this statement of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it entails three affairs number 1 the right of allah number 2 the right that you have over yourself and number 3 the right of the creation as for the right of allah then it is in the statement ittaqi la haythu ma kunt this is allah's right upon all of mankind that we fear him wherever we may be whatever situation we may be in whatever land we may live in whatever condition or state that we are in it is upon us to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It is a matter that begins in the heart. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he pointed to his heart and he said at taqwa ha huna at taqwa ha huna at taqwa ha huna. The taqwa is here meaning in the start from the heart. And he mentioned this three times pointing to his chest meaning the heart. So it's very important that we strive to purify our hearts. So indeed with the purification of the heart there will be purification of the actions purification of one's speech purification of one's behavior as for those who say that their hearts are pure however their actions are evil then this claim is not accepted because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned ala fil jasad mughra in salahat salah al jasad kullu wa in fasadat fasad al jasad kullu ala wa hiya al qalb indeed in the body there is a morsel of flesh if this morsel of flesh is sound 
then the entire body will be sound. Meaning, if your heart is sound, your actions will be sound. And if this morsel of flesh is corrupted, then the entire body will be corrupted. Meaning, your actions will be corrupted. Indeed, this morsel of flesh is the heart. So if there is taqwa in the heart, then the taqwa will be seen in one's actions. The taqwa will be heard from one's speech. But the claim of purity of the heart, while a person's actions are corrupted, this is a false claim. Therefore, we must strive to purify our hearts by fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we have the right that we have over ourselves. We must not wrong ourselves and harm ourselves. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, لا ضرر ولا ضرار. And Allah Azza wa Jal, he stated, وَلَا تُلْكُ بِأَيْدِيكُ مِنَ التَّهْلُكَ The Prophet said there is to be no harm nor reciprocating of harm. You are not to do anything that will harm yourself. You are not to do anything that will harm the people or cause harm. Allah Azza wa Jal, he mentioned, so do not let your hands be the cause of your own destruction. So these are texts that teach us that we have to do good to our own selves. And the way that we do good to ourselves is that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We live our lives upon acts of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we do fall short, and we will fall short, for all of mankind, they commit sins and they do wrong. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, كُلُّ بَانِ آدَمْ خَطَّى الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ That all of the children of Adam, they make mistakes constantly. But the best of them are those who constantly make tawbah, those who constantly repent to Allah. And this is the good after the evil. That will wipe out the evil. That when you fall into error, you fall into a mistake, you do something that you knew is wrong, you turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with repentance. And the last of that which was mentioned by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَخَالَقَ النَّاسِ بِخُلُقٍ حَسِنٍ And treat the people with good behavior. And this is in relation to the right of the creation. And here the Prophet sallallahu he said people. So this means that we treat the Muslims as well as the non-Muslims with good behavior. And this is from the, te- the teachings of Al-Islam. That we do not oppress anyone, even if the person is not a Muslim. We do not oppress anyone and we do not wrong anyone. Rather, Islam teaches us to have the best character with all of mankind. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established that good character is from faith. As he mentioned, أَكْمَلُكُمْ إِيمَانًا أَحْسَنُكُمْ خُلُكًا وَكَمَا قَالَ صلى الله عليه وسلم. The most complete of you in faith are the best of you in character. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا أَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ وَلَكُمْ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين إما بعد That which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned to Mu'adh رضي الله عنه is something that we are to practice in our everyday lives for Al-Islam it is a way of life that we practice and adhere to inside of the masjid and outside of the masjid. At work, in the home, no matter what situation or status or position a person may be in, Islam is to be practiced at all times and in all places. And Allah Azza wa Jal, He addresses the believers, Ya ayyuha ladina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kafa. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُ خُطُوَةِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُّبِينٌ All you who believe, enter to Islam in its entirety. Meaning practice all of Al-Islam. According to your ability, practice every aspect of Al-Islam. And in every aspect of life, Alhamdulillah, we have guidance from the deen. 
guidance from the Quran, guidance from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There's no aspect in the human life that is void of guidance as it relates to what Allah has said or what the Prophet says sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And all you have to do is look in the books of Hadith. Look in the books that have been authored by the scholars where they mention the rules and regulations connected to dua and afkar. You will see every aspect of life being mentioned and there being guidance for it. And before that, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah azza wa jal mentions, إِنَّ هَذُ الْقُرْآنِ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمِ that indeed this Qur'an it guides to that which is more upright and better. So the Muslim has guidance in all of his affairs. But why do we find ourselves in the conditions we find ourselves in? It is due to our negligence. It is due to our negligence. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will not destroy His religion. Allah azza wa jal will not allow His deen to go to waste. However, when we do not practice the deen, and we are negligent regarding the deen, then we waste ourselves, we destroy ourselves. So if we want success and salvation, we want triumph and victory, then it is upon us to practice what Allah has sent down as the guidance for all of mankind. But if we want to remain in a state of being belittled, in a state of misery, in a state of being wasted and lost, then all we have to do is abandon and neglect that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. For Allah's sunnah is one sunnah. And Allah, He mentions the stories of the nations of the past. And what was their final outcome when they neglected the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No different for the people of today. When we neglect Allah's deen, this leads to the destruction of the people. When we neglect Allah's deen, when we neglect the taqwa of Allah, this leads to the failure and the corruption in society and other than that. So it was upon us to adhere to that which Allah has mentioned in his book, and that which the Prophet ﷺ has taught us from his sunnah. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك أقم السلام